Hey friends, I'm gonna scoot up for a second. Ugh. Uh, how are you guys doing? Shout out to my new subscribers. Woohoo! I'm growing. I went from uh, <laughs> 229 subscribers on Friday to I think we're at 240 right now. So I must have said something. It typically is when I say something on someone else's channel. <clears throat> Whoever is intrigued by what I say, they get curious and come to my webs or come to my channel. And um, whatever message, there's ringing happening right now too. Uh, if you guys wonder why I'm pausing, um, yeah, something I said and it, it triggered someone to go to my channel and. Whichever message I'm saying, it happens to resonate with that person. So, I think it's pretty cool. But thank you, new subscribers. Welcome to my reality. Well, I say reality because it's like the funniness that seems to happen when I hit record or my interesting ways that I get messages. But this is our reality. Once you've awakened and you've tuned yourself with the higher conscious, uh, it's our reality, we share this, we co-create this, we um, share and assist, you know, there are no teachers, and uh, <clears throat> I always try to make that my common uh, dialogue, if anyone is teaching you, like it's different when, let's say, uh, I've downloaded some information and I'm sharing that with everybody, but I'm not saying, well, you know, and like, uh, I'm doing this thing, uh, in my home where I'm putting water in the corners of the doorways. Um, but I'm not teaching anybody. Okay, everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how to, you know, collect the negative from walking through, <laughs> I'll never do that because I really don't know the truth of that. I really don't know if they work. I just know that I have to do something because I'm tired of these walkthroughs. So, um, on to topic, ley lines that you create, ley lines that I create. And it's not that I'm teaching anyone about ley lines. Um, I leave references that kind of sort of give you as a background of the topic that I'm talking about. But um, sharing, I guess, I guess it's a form of teaching without being a teacher. Because I'm always a student. I always like to have some experience and then kind of share and talk about my experience. And if that resonates, people will evolve or expand or trigger or get memories or feel like, hey, I feel like I'm growing because I'm, I'm adhering to his experience. So that's what I mean in terms of... Uh, sharing so my apartment is pretty cool I love my apartment I love it love it love it love it love it the problem is so I heard a story about um, the building the complex where a lot of complexes along the beach area were um, homes for veterans and homes for war vets uh, people who were injured it was a safe house uh, I don't know if that terminology was appropriate for the topic, but um, let's say if, you know, they were more and they got injured, they would have these homes set up for them and their families and nurses would come and aid them. The reason why you can tell that it was one of them because the, um, I guess I'll show you guys later when I get home, the doors uh, of we're like very close we're like not even seven to nine we're about nine feet apart and, and but when you go inside it's a lot of in-depth space but it's just the entrances are very close in proximity um even like getting to the laundromat you have to squeeze through somewhere so back then in all these wars um and i had a trigger right now um, but these people who were injured and tormented, I guess, by PTSD, um, their spirits are still there. Their energy is still there. 
So rather they are alive or not right now, their energy is walking through my place. And it, it kind of sucks because I'm a big ball of energy. <laughs> I'm a huge ball of energy. And there's no going backwards to say, well, well maybe I should just reserve myself. It's too late. Um, and knowing who I am, uh, knowing my past lives, and I used to never believe that stuff, but then uh, a few things came up this year that really made me 100% believe that it is very true. Because there's a lot of things that I would say mumble while I'm sleeping and I would wake up and I would just do a little Google search and literally I would find something exactly with what I said and it'll give me the time and date and area location and everything which is pretty cool um on to topic uh, I have walkthroughs so a lot of times uh, these walkthroughs penetrate my auric field or my aura like in the video yesterday, I showed you guys that there was um, God or Creator. Second level or layer um, was Holy Consciousness. Under that is um, Source. Under that is Higher Consciousness or Higher Self. Um, and then under that is Aura. And then under that is crown chakra and then soul so there's layers we have magnetic fields and those are layers too like an onion so when things are coming down into your field your energy field that's just the process of how it happens Ooh, I almost had one of those you know <laughs> spiritual uh, hiccups as I call it um Go to my last video if you guys haven't checked it out. And it really breaks it down. <clears throat> I channeled that message back in... I think that was 2017 when I was getting a lot of... 2016, I was getting a lot of stuff. Um, and when my best my best friend, who's my soulmate... Um, we all have some like different... All kinds of soulmates. We can have 20 soulmates. But there's just that one connection that I had throughout time that was very, very Thelma and Louise, <laughs> Ebony and Ivory, um, Tom and Jerry, you know, uh, I lost him. And this is the day three years ago where um, I saw him in the hospital. It was like I found out the day before he was going to the hospital and uh, I knew he was going to go because I could foresee things. And that night I had a dream. I'll get into this later. But that dream I crossed over with him and I was sent back. And when I crossed over, there was a lot of, I remember every single detail. <laughs> and I woke up with a fever of 107. I almost died as well. Um, that's how strong soulmates are. Connections to your closest friends. And so, that feeling that I have, I oftentimes would get a feeling of, uh, I, that's how I know I have walkthroughs and crossovers into my apartment. It's, it's just a weird, it's like my apartment will be warm. And I know it's not anyone that I know. Because anyone that I know, they don't, they have their own mission right now. They're not actually here here like there <laughs> I would have had a sign that my close friend um, he he would have gave me signs like he was giving me signs in the very beginning to shut up and stop crying until everybody stopped whining <laughs> um, but uh, I come home to a very warm apartment you know uh, thermostat is kind of off right now uh, even when I had the thermostat on or the, uh, the the heater, thermal, the pilot was lit, um, as soon as I walk in my apartment, a minute later, it would get icy cold. And this is how I know that there's another presence of uh, in the in the home, 
there is something, it may not be uh, evil intended, but I know it's there. Um, this is why also I, I sometimes don't invite people over until I sage the f out of my apartment. Or I'll uh, light Palo Santo, I'll meditate, um, I'll put all my, uh, I have stones and crystals, I'll put them all over the place. And I'll get more into that later too, uh, about how to purify your home. I actually started a new Facebook page. You don't have to be a member of Facebook to check it out. It's called Interior, the letter U. Interior U, if you guys want to check that out. Do I put it in the description box below? And it's really going to be on how to interior decor your place, but then I'm adding a little essence of uh, cleansing and purification, which I don't think many people have completely done. Uh, some people, they just go right into gems and stones and rituals, but what about to the common folk who really don't know how to cast spells or pray or anything? So this is really going to be like the simple tips on how to feng shui properly. But anyways, back to topic. Um, these walkthroughs are happening because of ley lines. There were events and emotional changes and uh, life events that occurred that, you know, they happen in the space where I live. So... You know, it's not like we're psychic and we choose or we foresee what happens and we don't apply it to those apartments. This place is actually a safe haven for me because where I lived before, I guess I can say it now, um, my landlord was a Rothschild, <laughs> which I didn't know. And uh, he was kind of like, not like the actual world famous but he was the bottom of the food chain on the family line. And so he was mimicking uh, the behavior of his family. And it's also DNA. But he intentionally knew, you know, what to do to piss everyone off. Because he was like, you know, I'm going to intimidate you. I'm one of the strongest families in the world. Be scared of me. Muhahaha. And when I came along to live there, I'm like, dude. Excuse my language, y'all. I was like, this shit ain't flying with me. And, and it's not like my ego in terms of protection knows what to do and what to say and it's it's war baby like my I love my ego as if it were another person <laughs> I don't love being in my ego but um, I have to sometimes allow my ego to surface as though it were another personality and let it protect me and and gosh darn it i'm so glad that my ego came out in that last situation because they were going to keep my deposit they were forcing me out because i wasn't a dog owner and and then this guy turned everyone in the apartment complex against me and i don't know why well i know why because he just didn't want anybody spiritual in that complex he wanted you know, he was a misogynist. He wanted hot women with tattoos to only live there. And guess what? There are about two guys who are boyfriends of girls in that unit. And there's 14 units. Everyone else has a female dog on her. So, not my problem. I'm over it. I, I loved and forgived and let go. But he still wants to hold on to attachments. That's his deal. And good luck, dude. But there was a ley line uh, that he has created. It's an energetic ley line. It might have been where his car was parked in front of my window to the alignment of where he lived. There was an energy exchange. There was a, you know what I mean? Anytime that energy is exchanged between locations, you create a ley line. And those ley lines, I'm going to turn my air Anytime those ley lines are, are active, you can do a lot of stuff. You could switch jobs. You can move homes like that. You can, uh, people don't understand when, like even for me driving on the freeway, which I do this same route Tuesdays and Thursdays, 
um, I was able to get this old job back <laughs> because this is the old ley line I used to drive. And every time that I gain new, because I, I do group fitness and personal training, and I also teach dance, so I'm busy, y'all. Like, and I entertain, I perform, so I'm I'm kind of like, you know, vomiting like positive energy all over the place. <laughs> and um, what's funny is people outside of that ley line, which which is interesting, they probably do live outside the ley lines I created, don't understand what I'm doing. They'll say, oh my God, you're always busy. And, you know, they'll just antagonize me with, you know, I've changed and I'm not the same anymore. Or they refer back to the past me. And it really made me understand that maybe there is like um, several types of multi-dimensions because when you draw a ley line, let's say my ley line makes of uh, an acute angle let's say if it's an acute angle triangle that looks like you know those um, sand time when you flip them over the sand comes through if you f f make that 45 degrees that's kind of like what I'm doing you know uh, six days a week I'm driving to a location 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 coming back home location 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 so I'm learning that within those parameters of that ley line that I'm personally creating, every time that I do my activity, I'm energizing not just that area, but that whole alignment from where I left to where I am. And then I'm coming back. And I'm, So if you guys understand what I'm talking about. I think this is why a lot of people um, find themselves dating the same type of person all the time and it not working out <laughs> all the time uh, or you're what I, I think of it as sometimes we don't, we don't ask for who is next to be either healed or even just flash something to them to trigger them to wake up and the last a lot of times I can't control that it's really on our benevolent constituents that always throw me into these situations where it, it just it just happens and if I don't if I resist uh, going with my actions <coughs> excuse me I'll get like kind of like spiritual withdrawals where I feel like uh, more is coming into my body and more is like absent at the same time. It's weird. I can't explain it. It's almost as though I feel like my gifts are being stripped, but then I'm getting new gifts. Or if they're taken out and then they're thrown back at me. I don't know if this makes any sense, you guys. I'm just rambling. But uh, it just feels like a, a, a boost of what I have after it's been taken out and then thrown back at me. And so each time that it's thrown at me, I'm like, okay, fine, I'll go. I'll, I'll go, you know, to this person's house and, you know, go with their timeline. And then it'll be a different story when I show up. It'll be like, oh, they have a friend who's there and this friend is distraught and about to hurt themselves. And for some odd reason... <clears throat> I would have a stone in my pocket or something and I would just put words of encouragement and say hold on to this for encouragement then the following week uh, someone would text me and say you know that timing was so crazy that you came over and I'm sorry like I didn't get to talk to you but you know what you gave him that selenite you know it really helped him you know feel like he was important and he got a job you know just things like that these are like what we do we create these ley lines we draw our parameters and we do the work um you probably often won't find anybody else in your spiritual game or in your uh level of uh action because um their ley lines don't cross yours and I learned two people who have crossed my ley lines. That was a weird uh, banner up there. 
it, it was promoting uh, a TV show called Dark Arts. I would move the phone, but I'm in some traffic and I don't want to. Anyways, <clears throat> um, there it goes again. Actually, let's do this. Look, let's look. Dark Arts. Hello, truck. Yo, my phone. Is it a coincidence? It just don't want to work. Whenever I'm like out trying to zoom, it just don't want to work. So that's supposed to say dark arts. Oh, Harry Potter. <laughs> Are you guys surprised? Universal Studios put out a new um, at Hogwarts Castle. Dark Arts experience this from June 22nd to August 11th. Okay, so what in the hell are they planning to do? Create a ley line. <laughs> and that ley line would go from Universal Studios Hollywood all the way to uh, Universal Florida. Um, I was talking to a coworker yesterday and I was like, do you now understand where we live do you now see do you see we still live on these old ancient Babylonian grounds where excuse me there goes those spiritual hiccups and uh, I don't know I just want this shenanigans to stop I'm getting Y'all, like, I have this alter ego named Bonquisha, just for fun, and Bonquisha's tired. Bonquisha, she's just tired. <laughs> I'm tired, tired, I'm tired. Ain't nobody got time for this. Like, we're doing all this work to figure out where we are, and it's just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And um, I always hear about, like, the story of the, the uh, mansions in heaven, and I'm like, there better be a mansion for each and every single one of us for going through all this crap. Speaking of mansion, my dream yesterday, I was actually in an old mansion, and uh, I was living with one. I don't know what, what, the, what the past life, what the future what the back to the future I was going through, but it seemed like I was in my apartment, but it was what it was like 200 years ago. I don't know. I was confused because my dreams, they always cross the future and the past where it's all in the same uh, reality. It, it, that's the weird part. Like the, the building was old. Because, like, the person in my dream was living in the attic upstairs, and he was saying that there were bugs. And I was saying, well, use this bug spray f that I had for my, you know. It was like I moved. I don't know. I, I can't explain. I'm confused. But I had this bug spray, and I've had this bug spray for a year. And I, I'm learning to intuit and allow the bugs to flow in my apartment. Like, I'm really just not caring Oh, there's a spider. Yeah. Like the the spiders have their own ley lines and they weave webs. And I've noticed that the only two areas, three or four areas that these the daddy long legs, I'm really like trying to develop a relationship and trust them because they they leave when they kind of just leave after they lay it out. But it's the bathroom near the window, near the sewage, uh, the kitchen near the doorway, um, the refrigerator-ish. Um, I'm seeing some funky things going on. Uh, there's like some flickering in the sky. And... Uh, yeah, and the uh, entry near the heater... It's weird because, you know, there's carbon dioxide that can come out the heaters. That's why we have carbon dioxide detectors. But I, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I was thinking about this yesterday and this morning. 
there's uh, webs from the daddy long legs near the heater, near the uh, shower, near the toilet, and near the kitchen refrigerator and the entry exit doors. I have two, gosh darn it. And what's interesting is any time that we shed or peel, um, that's the bathroom. And so I'll get more into this later, but um, I try to put altars and purification centers in every corner of my apartment because we don't think to um, sage and burn salts, charcoals, and resin in the bathroom. Well, hello, if that's where you should do ba do ba doobs. That's all purging. <laughs> Sorry to be personal. You brush your teeth. And, and you know, there's that's all purging. You wash your face. You know, you, you wash your hair. You're leaving uh, old purges, old everything in your bathroom. And you can't cleanse a bathroom with Lysol. There's no Lysol and bleach in the world that will purify old timelines. Because when you go back in the bathroom, you just kind of pick back up that old timeline. You touch that shampoo bottle, touch that toothpaste again. So I'm learning to, um, every time I do an action in the bathroom, regardless of what it is, <coughs> I cleanse and purge while I do it. Like I'll burn Palo Santo after brushing my teeth, after bleaching my hair. <laughs> um, what's it called this is also why I love working at a gym because I create ley lines in the gym and so energetic wise uh, every time that I go to the gym to shower or have a conference meeting uh, as I call it <laughs> um, every time when I go back home from work there's a ley line I created so when I cleanse my bathroom, whatever action is the same from wherever I go, I'm actually sending an energetic ley line to each area that I've, you know, done the same action. Or if I change my clothes to perform and do a show, if I change my clothes and did a show in another location with the same ensemble, I've created a ley line. Or <clears throat> like the last performance I had, two performances ago, I had a wardrobe malfunction. And uh, <laughs> I actually have several wardrobe malfunctions because uh, what's interesting is uh, I, I belly dance. So belly dancing is kind of difficult because for women, they can just put on two, three, four pieces and bada bing, bada boom. But for men, uh, it's either the one piece suit, you know, when you're playing the drums but for men like me, it's more of exposing the kundalini and the solar plexus to the audience. And it's a ritual where I'm trying to exchange love for uh, cleansing myself and the audience. It's a weird, I'll get into that another time. But uh, the belly dance process, it's sort of like what I have to do because it, it, it's, it's like a ritual of, of uh, cleansing the environment and uh, sparking chi energy and chi and yin energy is all positive it's what you do when, that's how you breathe so if anyone wants to say that's not in the bible well it's not <laughs> but there's a part of Lazarus when Jesus you know uh, <clears throat> did a healing on him and he took his breath back to life that's sort of the same thing it was talking about um, when someone dies or they're resurrected, it's really coming back into consciousness and having an awakening experience. And the breath, it, it's it's a whole new, yeah, anyways. It, it's a whole nother video, which I'll get into later. I just know that people like to get extra things when I'm talking. And that's pretty cool. You guys rock because... You can listen to 30 minutes of my, my voice and actually be very intrigued with what I have to say. And uh, I'm glad that I'm not too ugly of a person to where uh, you guys can stare at my face for this long. Or you can actually just push play and like what that's what I do when I'm driving. I listen to other videos, but 
right now, I'm just looking at how everybody is whining about the end is near. And it's like, how many times are you going to repost the same damn message over and over about this is it, people. This is what they're doing. And it's like, this isn't what they are doing. This is what they think they're channeling. And what they're channeling is non-existent anymore. That's what's happening. If I were to be as clairvoyant as possible, it's like people are trying to channel the dead. They're already dead. And they're trying to relive the actions of what those dead people did. And and it's kind of working. Like, I always think of uh, the Sphinx. And uh, the Sphinx... Uh, uh, told you guys my affirmations are all in sirens and beeps um <laughs> i was thinking of the sphinx and who was that person their identity and you notice how the nose is clipped so the nose isn't there so you can't see the truth to the true identity of who it was so a lot of people channel the sphinx who do these uh things towards people to ley line fear in their environment um, Nikola Tesla, before I forget, ooh, 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 I should say, I should find Gary Light's video and put it in my description box below. So Gary Light has this video, um, there we go. He has this video where he talked about, if I can find it, but Nikola Tesla used to walk the same block three times in a row. But let's say he wanted to go into a market. Excuse me, there goes my spiritual hiccups. Uh, he used to walk his block three times, enter and exit the market six times, and then touch the item nine times. People thought he was uh, OCD, but he isn't. And this is why a lot of people on accident, including myself, will say we're OCD. And it's a disorder and it's a mental uh, um, condition. And I think we shouldn't be making fun of it. And society has normalized making fun of it. But long story short, um, it's not fair to people who actually do have clinically diagnosed condition of the disorder. Because it is a disorder. You can't help it. Where some of us, we overindulge because we're compulsive. That's why we do that. Um, but Nikola Tesla used to say, if I'm going to buy this water bottle, I'm going to put it back on the shelf nine times. And he was looking at what would happen. He, and he did this. It was a routine. And it was, uh, it's, it was awesome. Because it taught me what to do with my job and the work that I do. Um, so long story short, if anything changed, let's say tomorrow um, that water bottle wasn't there he would start his process over he will walk the block nine times he would go in and out of the market three times and he would touch the next water bottle six times so he was creating different energetic ley lines I do this with parking spaces um, I always try to park in the same parking space when I go to one specific job location because there's a lot of spaces available and I know I pick the same one all the time but whenever someone irks my timeline or messes me up my whole head um, I'll change the parking space somewhere else that way I create a new timeline and that way I don't keep myself in this like this is how you merge and jump timelines um, <clears throat> like where I'm going now I'm in the same traffic all the time, but I'm seeing how traffic is like building up like a mother. And so this timeline of traffic, I do not like. So I'll probably create a new route where I'll probably exit the freeway somewhere earlier. Then I would take this shortcut that I know and then I'll jump a timeline. But then my intentions would be, uh, I don't want to see this much traffic anymore. <laughs> I don't want to see this much traffic at all, period. Um, that's how you manage your ley line. That's how you edit your ley lines, your own personal ley lines. Um, I live in an area 
what we call Long Beach, and there is absolutely no parking at all. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, but since I moved to this new apartment, compared to the last, well, the last apartment was about 200 feet away from where I am now. I had to get away from that monster and that energy, that portal of darkness that he was creating. And that darkness was very heavy. And I didn't have walkthroughs in that apartment, but it was what was building up at the doors. And when I would open the door, it was like, damn. So I knew to feng shui that apartment, but there were just some, there, you couldn't do much about that apartment. What was building up was affecting the people upstairs. So long story short, I moved and this apartment just has spiritual walkthroughs. Um, but since my ley line is 45 degree angle, I actually, I actually have been finding parking spaces more so on one side of that 45 degree angle than the other. Uh, in the daytime, I would park on the, let's say the east side of that 45 degree angle. And at night, I can't find parking. So I will park, I will find something on the north side of that uh, 45 degree angle, if that makes any sense. So I'm making a polar, I don't know, a polarized uh, connection. Where it's like day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night. So I'm creating like an, what we call an orbital ley line. That's a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great, wonderful Tuesday. Um, I'm nervous about my job job today because we're having a white party. And I'm celebrating pride and the rainbow flag. And I don't like things pushed on people, but whatever. The white is symbolic of canvas. It's symbolic of a, a new, starting a new. And it's like a, um, it, it's, it's a ceremony. It's a, so I get nervous when being requested to wear all white. I have my outfit here. I'll probably make a second video about this today. So I have all my white and my really good Calvin Klein underwear. <laughs> and I have a Calvin Klein rainbow shirt. But I have to not enter that ley line of fear because we're going to be connected with every job location. Let's say there's 20 uh, franchises of this brand and we're all doing the same. There's going to be a whole lot of shit coming in and out of people. And it's on a full moon of Sagittarius. And I'm a Capricorn. Ugh. If you guys knew astronomy... <laughs> oh my god I, I don't want to go through this today I really don't but I'm going to be sending flipping birds of positivity um, to this ley line you are not going to be taking any of my people you're not going to be crossing us over you're not going to be dominating our spirit no 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 you don't you take your whatever it is you're trying to channel and you shove it and you go back to where you came from. That's that's what I'm coming with today. Because um, ever since I've been having this upper respiratory thing, I, I've been knowing where it's coming from. And it is the ley lines of my of these locations where I do this work. And something is trying to lower my uh, frequency and lower my stamina so that I can't uh, kick its ass. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day and to be continued.